Hi. <laughs> the story of me in Lisbon is about two and a half years old now. In my very first time that I came here, I had a very unique situation with the woman that now became a beautiful soul sister of mine. And a statement that she said to me. We were both training and it was a very emotional day and everything was just very mixed up feelings, lots of emotions. And she offered to drive me to the place I was staying. I uh, accepted and I was really happy and I, I went to the car and I went to the to the side seat and when I opened the door the car was super clean like 10 times more clean than mine would ever be but there were just her boots in the front of my seat so she walked around the car and she came in front of me and she said stop please let me honor your presence <laughs> this statement still moves me let me honor your presence let me take off these boots and make space for you they of course would have not bothered me at all but this idea to take them off for me to honor this presence with whatever I come in really moved me deeply. So since I arrived here this time, um, I've been coming across a lot of how are you's. And people tend to always give that to the Americans to say that the Americans say, how are you? And they don't really care what your answer is because it's just a phrase. And um, actually, it's not the experience that I made with Americans at all. Um, here, though, I do. And I'm asking myself, whoo, sorry, that's the wind, <laughs> the wind of Lisbon. I'm asking myself, let me just, maybe I should secure that. Ha, German technique. So if you ask someone, how are you? And you don't really want to know what the response is. Is that honoring their presence? What I experience here is people ask me and due to my radical honesty lifestyle, I answer honestly. I say I feel rotten or I feel happy or I feel medium or so-so. And the reactions are weird for me because people get uncomfortable with anything else but, oh, I'm great or I'm fine. So my question is, do you honor someone's presence? If there's no room for what is there, do you even honor your, your own presence if you notice that you don't even have room for someone else? And I'm saying this in no way of like a teaching because I notice myself that I'm not better sometimes. Just a week ago, there was a girl coming to training that I haven't seen for almost like I think a year. And I didn't know she was coming and she just suddenly stood there and I was like doing something very focused, you know, very German focused. And I did that and she came and she really surprised me and I could literally feel my whole body being lit up because I was so thrilled to see her. But at the same time, I was still like doing stuff here. So she hugged me. She came in from like hugged me and I was sitting and I was like doing this. And afterwards at home, when I was reflecting on that, I thought, why did I not get up? Why did I not just stop for just a minute? Let the things be. Actually honor this person with her presence, with my presence. So I was thinking, what is a powerful picture? of how to honor someone's presence and I cannot come up with anything stronger than this experience I once made with the car where I think what does that mean and I think it's such a beautiful visual to believe okay there's someone that you're gonna ask to come into your car so are you ready to make the space clean are you ready to clean yourself up to open the door and clean everything that you have 
to let someone else come in. And at the same time, when the person comes in, are you able to honor them with their presence? That means with whatever they bring. Maybe they have five bags and the whole car seat is packed and they're sitting like this. Are you able to let them be and, and respect them with their presence without giving them advice, telling them they would need to you know, check out Marie Kondo's method to clean out her shit? Would you be able to let this person be with their way of being without interfering? without without doing something with what they bring in you're not going saying like, what is in your bag let me let me oh this is very unhealthy food you should not buy that are you able to let them come in in the space that you opened with their stuff without you fixing something on it that for me is honoring someone's presence and I think it's honoring myself as well so this goes out to all of us that we throw away the word presence so often and I feel like presence has so many colors it comes in so many costumes on so many levels so many layers and this is one of me this is one layer that I just kind of recognized this week so to you and to me let us honor each other's presence I dedicate this to you and I dedicate this to Didi who gave me this beautiful experience and this beautiful visual that accompanies me until today <laughs>